Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to create this cool Barbie dress cake using a 127 piping tip. This is a video collaboration with Epic Confections, Lovely Baker and Wedding Cakes for You. Don't forget to check out their videos at the end of this one. The cake that I'm using is a regular white mud cake and I've used a cake tin specific for dress dolls. It's kind of like a um, tall cone shape. I'll have a link in the description box below for the Amazon link of where you can find that one. Cut it in half and then layer your cake a further two halves. So you have four layers of cake in total. You can use a sharp serrated knife for this, it would work best. And once you've torted your cake, apply it onto a 10 inch cake board with a little bit of frosting. I've used my hybrid buttercream frosting for this tutorial, also linked in the eye and the description box below this video. Fill in and then start layering on your cakes. I like to make sure that the frosting reaches up and above the sides of the cake so you have a lip overhanging. This just makes sure that there aren't any air bubbles um, trapped in your cake layers. Once your cake layers have been stacked, create a crumb coat. This is a thin layer of frosting that goes all around the cake and traps in your crumbs. Because this is going to be our final layer as well, because we are going to be going over it with a piping tip, try to make it a little bit thicker than usual so you can't really see through to the cake. Smooth it down by just going around and holding your spatula against the cake. Bring that lip of frosting to the center, clean off your cake board if you like, and then pop it into the freezer for 10 minutes or into your fridge for 20 minutes to set. You're going to need a doll body for this, so I bought mine from Big W for about $6 and you want to cut off the legs so you don't get as much cake wastage. To make sure she fits into the cake, cut her legs off at the knee or slightly above the knee. Quickly remind her that this hurts you more than it hurts her. Wrap her body in some plastic film or glad wrap and this will just make sure that the plastic does not come in contact with your cake. I wrapped her legs and then I wrapped up till her waist as well just in case. You also want to tie up her hair and ensure that her arms are resting raised so it doesn't come into contact with your cake and just gives you more room to work with so you don't kind of mess up your cake with her body in the way. When you pop your Barbie doll in, never just pop it into the cake, you have to cut a crater in to fit her. If you don't do this, your cake is going to start slowly cracking all over the place and it's just going to be a mess. I pushed her through the top and her hips were a little bit wider than I'd expected. So it did crack a little bit, but lucky that's as far as the damage went. Because I had to cut up a little bit more from the top of the cake, I'm just filling in that space with frosting and just shaping it around her waist so it looks like a regular dress skirt again. I ran out of frosting at this point, so I reached out for the over-the-top buttercream. This you can buy from um, Spotlight. It's a really nice consistency. I microwaved it for about 10 seconds just to soften it out because it was really cold today. And in here I'm adding a few drops of purple gel food colour by Chef Master. It colours really nicely as well. And then fill it into a piping bag fitted with a 127 piping tip. This is basically a 104 tip but the daddy version. So it is humongous and just awesome. Once you're ready, start piping on the underskirt. So the large end of the piping tip is touching the cake and the skinny side is facing your cake board. I'm kind of curling the piping tip as I come up and create that frill so it gives it a bit more of a fish scale kind of look. I've also drew lines leading up to her waist just so I know the boundaries to work within. Once you reach the very top, we're going to change up the style and I'm going to start at her waist. The large end of the piping tip is still touching the cake and the skinny side is now facing outwards. Pipe from her waist all the way down to the cake board in one fluid motion. Pipe out faster than what you are traveling down and this is causing the ribbons to sort of pile up and bunch and it gives it a really nice elegant frilly kind of effect on her dress. Continue this all the way around. I'm going from left to right, from left to right, just to make sure that once I reach her back, it's perfectly in the middle. You'll notice once it reaches the very back, there's no more waist to work on. So just meet those ruffles in the middle, and then we're going to dress that up with some beautiful little pearls. 
I have some fondant and some shortening that I've rubbed onto my counter to make sure the fondant doesn't stick. Roll it into a log and then press it into a silicon pearl mold. I've just coated it in some shortening so the fondant does not stick to the uh, mold and it comes out easily. Cut off the excess and then turn the mold over, stretch it out and push out your pearls. Apply them onto the back of your cake right where that seam is. I applied two lines starting from the, her back all the way down to the cake board. Our next step is to cut out the fondant dress piece to go over her torso. So I've got some of that fondant still again coloured the same as the buttercream. Rolling it out into a rectangle, so cutting off the top, the bottom and the sides. Cutting a triangle in this middle section and then rounding off the very bottom into a V. Pop it over her body if you want, her whole back to be covered. Cut the panels a little bit longer. I actually really liked the way her back was exposed, so I left it just like that. And then to hide the seam, pipe little um, pearls down the back using a number three piping tip. I did the same where the top half of the dress meets the skirt and at the top of her neckline as well. All of the materials used in this tutorial can be found in the description box below on the Amazon link. Pop down her arms, undo her hair and style it and you are good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and give it a go and if you do share your photos with me hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot on Instagram so I can see what you guys are coming up with as well. Feel free to subscribe for more cake decorating videos every Tuesday and before you forget head on over to the lovely baker Epic Confections and Wedding Cakes for You. They have developed some pretty awesome looking doll cakes for you guys as well. That'll be in the cards above or in the description box below. Thanks again and I'll catch you guys again next week.